Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into today's message. You guys are the heavyweight champ. You guys are showing people that they're not really acquainted like how they thought they were acquainted. People have been gossiping about you, especially this last week, because you guys have been going through so many changes, so many alterations. Okay, the affirmation alteration. If you guys watched the last video and if you did it, then you definitely like you need to go back. You need to go back. So what I'm getting for you guys is people think that you put a spell on people that are powerful People are talking about you right now and the influence that you have over someone very powerful. And for some of you guys, this is over someone that is powerful. For some of you, it is two people that are powerful. And then for a couple of you, it's like a lot of people that are powerful or like almost a dozen, if not several. I'm telling you guys, like, the shock in every time these people g gather to talk about you and how it just changes and, and shifts. It goes from, oh, they're not anything. I'm just like, blah, blah, blah. Like, just talking all this ish to, oh, to, to, they must have put a spell on somebody. They just must have. When you guys stood up for yourself in the last download, okay, this is what I'm getting. When you guys stood up for yourself, People could not understand how you had certain backing. They couldn't understand it. They're like, obviously, they have to have this person's favor. There could be somebody protecting you in your uh, workplace. There could be somebody protecting you in your family, kind of like looking over you and saying like, you can't touch this child. You cannot touch this person. You can't touch them. So this is part of your divine protection. Okay, God, the divine, the universe has a someone powerful that is helping protect you. Is this a spiritual advisor? Is this a teacher? Is it a mentor? Is it a friend? Is it a boss? Is it a higher up? Is it a parental unit? You guys are going to know who this person is. You're going to know who this person is that is powerful. People are talking about the influence that you have over this person because some of these people are very corrupt and they have not been able to sway this person. And I want you guys to understand something. You guys have this person's protection and respect because of things that you have been through, things that you've endured and wrongs that they are trying to right. If this someone had ever done you dirty or, um, you know, really disappointed you or let you down, it's almost like they're going to die trying to make sure that they never do that to you again because they made a big mistake. And even though it was like divine intervention and divine timing at play, that person knows that they made a big mistake not standing up for you. Okay, they could have um, let you down and showing their loyalty and now they've been making it up to you ever since. That's what these people aren't understanding. That could be part of the equation for you. Like this person is very, this someone is very protective over you. Very protective over you as if you were their child or wife or husband. They have this very maternal or paternal instinct towards you to guard you, to shield you because they see that you are being talked about. They're seeing that you are being picked on. They are seeing that you are being bullied, trolled, harassed, antagonized. And so they're doing everything in their power, even though this person could be extremely busy, they're doing everything in their power to make sure that they're like on top of shielding you from a lot of this BS. So I kept hearing, I put a spell on you, I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. That is how everyone is talking about you. They have so much influence. Did they put a spell on them? Are they sleeping with them? How do they have this influence? They don't understand it. Also, if you guys have a social media business, you guys have powerful people watching you. Okay, if you guys have a social media business, you have very powerful people watching you that have not 
uh, shown themselves to you yet. But what I'm getting also is this person, this someone, really likes being around you, really likes being around your healing energy. The other people that are corrupt that are talking about you, they are energy vampires. They're corrupt. They're habitual liars. They are narcissists. They are power hungry. Okay, you guys are being talked about by a lot of people that are competitive and power hungry. So I want you to sit and marinate in the fact that you have influence over powerful people. And you're like, who little old me? Yes, little old you. Okay, comment down below. Why do I have so much influence? Why am I always the center of attention? Why am I always the word on the street? Okay, comment it down below. Why am I always the word on the street? Let your subconscious prove it to you. Why do I have good influence over people that are powerful? Let your subconscious prove that to you. And I bet the answer is going to be because you're a good person. You're of love and light. You are genuine. Your energy is healing to be around. It activates others. So it's very night and day when these people, powerful someones, are around these other people and then they're around you. It's night and day. You guys are intoxicating. To some people, you are like a drug. They could be having the crappiest day and then they see you and they're like, oh my gosh, my day is so much better. They could be like giddy, geeked up, just really happy to see you. This relationship could have taken time to build. You guys could have gone through setbacks, disappointment. Um, and that might be for just some of you. For others of you, they might have been protective right out of the gate. You guys will have to let me know uh, down in the comments. But what I'm getting is these powerful someones that you have a lot of influence over, that everyone's trying to make it seem like it's dirty or it's corrupt. They're like, oh, they must be sleeping with them. Oh, they must be doing something. They're trying to make it something bad. And all it is is because you are, in fact, your true self. You are your true self. That is what these someones that are powerful love about you. So comment down below. I honor my authenticity. I choose authenticity over perfection okay you guys also have ancient wisdom so people are talking about like oh my gosh like how did they get that person's protection that person's attention we can't mess with this person because of this person they're gonna wreak havoc on our lives or get rid of us so we have to be very careful around Susie we have to be very careful around Michael what they're not realizing is you are your true self and you have ancient wisdom. You could look very young, but you have a lot of wisdom. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to, you definitely went to the school of hard knocks. Things did not just come easy to you. There were a lot of times where you wanted to give up hope and you didn't. You did not give up. That's why I always say, baby, I'm a gangster too. I shared the song in the community tab for everyone that is newer to the channel. And I'm getting that like these people did not understand that coming towards you would come at a very high price. They have been smacked down time and time again. There's something about this time around. They are actually letting it sink in that you do in fact have influence. It's just not like a fluke accident that this person's like protecting you or riding for you, this powerful someone. It is in fact because you're supposed to be protected by them. It is because it's that time. It is that time for you. You are releasing your power. You know, this person, this powerful someone, when they're not around you or they don't get to see you, they miss you. And they also see that you are not power hungry. Okay? You guys have a lot of power hungry people around you and they see that you are not power hungry. This is why they are drawn to you. You guys don't need other people's validation. You guys are not a bully. 
They are drawn to you. So yeah, you guys have this ancient wisdom because of trials, tribulations, setbacks, and obstacles that you've gone through over and over and over and over again. This person really respects your resilience. You guys got some people around you that are really bored. You guys are really really starting to protect yourself and they've never realized more than the time that you just stood up for yourself in the last download that you in fact are protected because if it was them that was protected okay they would flaunt it they would stunt they would throw it in everyone's face and you guys are being very strategic about how you use this person as having your back you only use it when you absolutely have to. And so they should have learned this lesson. They could have come towards you to take you out, these people talking about you, at least four times. Four times they've been smacked down by God, the universe, the divine, and these powerful someones. And it's not until this go around where they are realizing you don't just say hello to this person. It's not an accident that this person's watching over you. You, in fact, have a connection with this person. You have an unbreakable bond that people that have known this person longer, they can't figure out. They're like, how do they have this unbreakable bond? And why do we get talked to like that when this person's being protected? Maybe some of you guys don't even know that this person, this powerful someone is doing this for you. Maybe you guys just have an idea that this person's standing up for you because some people are backing off. So this might be your confirmation that yes, this person behind the scenes can see what these people are doing and that person is on damage control, okay? They in their own way are trying to figure out ways to lift you up, to protect you and to be on damage control with um, anything that is in their power. Dang. This is crazy. Crazy. Guidance. Where will it lead you? I feel like you guys look up to this person in a business sense. You guys looked up, you guys might look up to this person in a business sense. You might look up to them and how they are with their family, how they are in their marriage, how they are with their children. I feel like it's like a it's more like a parental bond. It doesn't have to be. Okay, that's just what I'm picking up. That like you look up to this person. Like I want to have a husband like that. I want to have a wife like that. I want to take care of my employees like that or my children like that. I want to have businesses like that and assets and, and all of these things in the works. You look up to this person. You guys definitely look up to this person. So that's what they're trying to figure out, this spell. Okay, what is this, this spell that you put on these powerful someones? What is it? What are you doing? I want you guys to comment down below. Why am I so magnetic? Why am I so powerful? Why am I so supercharged? There are some realizations that you guys are coming to right now of some alterations that you guys are going to be making. I feel like this is an alteration that you don't necessarily want to make, but you're learning how to do things faster for your highest good. You are reacting faster. You're like, you know what? I've been calculating um, writing for this person and two plus two is not equaling four. You guys could be supporting someone and losing a ton of money trying to support them. And you guys are calculating and assessing the damage. You guys are having realizations right now like, I have to find a replacement. I have to find somebody else to work with. I have to find a new friend. I have to find a new um, acquaintance or peer or whatever it is because this person, in fact, is costing me money. 
And how you're looking at it is not like, oh, it's all this money. I mean, you could be. But what I'm getting is it's because it's a sign. It's a sign. Okay. So um, say you guys are working with somebody, but every time you drive there, something's going awry. The universe has been trying to communicate to you. Um, God has been trying to communicate to you like, hey, maybe this person isn't a right fit for you. They might be very kind. They might be very nice. But there are things going awry because it's supposed to redirect you for your protection. But it's also kind of like supposed to be your idea. Not your idea, but yeah, like your idea to walk away from that person. Or set the record straight. Like, hey, I want to be supportive of you, but it's um, the last time I drove to see you, it cost me this much money. And then I drove to see you again, and it cost me this much money. I'm just trying to think of examples. Like, you guys are looking at it like, this has actually been hurting my finances by supporting this person. You guys are going to have one or two aha moments like that where the overbearing loyalty in you is like, yeah, we have to be loyal. But you're starting to tally it up like, wait, 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 wait. At what cost? At what end? There could have been somebody that you were working with where you just realized you were losing hundreds of dollars. Okay. Or thousands of dollars. There could have been... Um, other things going wrong behind the scenes that you weren't really like paying attention to. So let me know in the comments down below if that is you. That you are refusing to lose hope. We have the power of three. So I feel like you guys have two more people at least, two or three that are coming in to be your new support system. Because you are definitely attracting a new tribe. So it's like... You guys are having this realization like, okay, these people, like, they're very nice. They're very kind. Da, 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 da. These are people that you like. These are people that you are loyal to. These are people that are in your inner circle, maybe of a year or two or longer. And you're realizing where some of their whatever is conditional. And you've been losing or missing out on opportunities or losing and missing out on money because of being loyal and generous to this person. And you're realizing that you haven't been getting so much back in return. So because you are trying your hardest to release certain people um, or, you know, let them down gently, this is attracting your new tribe because you're starting to see like, okay, I can't just like, you know, run amok all the time and just keep losing money and, and losing opportunities. So there might be some memories that you're going to cherish with some people in your inner circle that you have to let go of. Because maybe you guys standing up for this person is going to make you lose your job. Maybe you guys standing up for someone is or continuously writing for them is going to make you have um, relationship issues or financial issues. Like there's some type of setback tied to a couple people in your inner circle. And these are the realizations that you're coming to. Like, okay, well, I don't know. Like I can't just be forking over money left and right, you guys could be realizing that it's there's been money being siphoned or opportunity opportunities being siphoned to a certain person or direction. So you're going to be thinking in your head, like, it's been sweet, it's been real, it's been nice, but I have to find a replacement, I have to find a new person to work with, or I have to find um, a new opportunity because this isn't, this isn't going to be long term this is breaking it's breaking your it's breaking down your opportunities or finances bit by bit and you're just starting to take like a financial inventory of the fact that like oh shit this is not probably been good for me okay you're just starting to realize this be your true self be your true self um don't feel like it's meant to harm you because this could be like really triggering to you that you're having to walk away from certain people that haven't really been mean. Some things might necessarily not necessarily be their fault, but you're learning to take care of you first. Put the oxygen mask on you first. 
an important end and new beginning. You guys, an important end and new beginning. I am being prompted to tell you that some people, even though it seems like they're moving in a circle, they're like doing things, doing things, doing things for themselves, are actually stifled, stuck, and bored. You are being prompted to move away from people that um, they might not appear to be stifled, stuck, and bored, but inside they are in fact stifled, stuck, and bored. Okay? Say um, all of your friends are workaholics, but they hate their relationships. They hate going home. They don't want to be on a day off with their person. They're not enjoying their job anymore. They're not happy there or enjoying their passions or the projects that they've started. You guys are taking notice of this. And that's why there is an important end that is a new beginning for you guys walking away from things that are stifled, stuck, and bored. You guys might be reliant on some of these people for some things. So you might be stressing out like, oh, well, that's my hairstylist or that's my kid's tutor or whatever it is. But something has not been adding up and you feel like, okay, well, I might have to walk away from this person and might not have a replacement for them right away, but I will lose more money or more opportunities if I stay with this person. So we got it's lit. We have a living the good life. In the moment. You guys are learning how to be in the moment more. And what I like about that is maybe that's something that's really hard for you guys to do because you feel like you're always having to repeat certain lessons. And I don't want you guys to look at it that way. You guys are, are slowing down for a reason so you guys can properly assess things, assess people. And this is for your discovery. You guys are going to be revisiting certain relationships. Yeah, I keep getting conversa uh, conf I can't even talk. Confirmations. You guys are feeling like, no, 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 this is backtracking. I've gone through this with another, like, say this is for your kid's, uh, your kid's tutor, okay? And the kid's tutor has been, like, changing their prices, and, and, and the kids love them, and they get good grades with this tutor, but you having to get rid of this tutor because it's, the prices are, like, fluctuating, and they're not consistent, and they've been canceling, and things like that, is showing you that, like, oh my gosh, this reminds me of an experience with somebody else. And you feel like you're backtracking. So you are having an epiphany. Like, no, this is not backtracking. This is self-discovery. This is not waiting for it to be upheavaled. This is seeing like, you know what? My kids deserve a better tutor. Why am I being so loyal and so nice to them when they haven't been holding up their end? So... Where are your expectations met in certain relationships? Okay, where are your expectations met in certain relationships? The people that you are attracting are also an open book like you. This could be why you guys are attracting such powerful someones. Because you guys don't hide your past. Like maybe you guys are like me. You're in your sobriety. Or you guys have been in toxic situations. So you guys are sharing that with people. All of these people that have been talking about you guys. Now they're really watching you from afar. Because they feel like sirens. They feel like they weren't doing a very good job. When they couldn't read you even if they had a map. When they're seeing that your reputation is somehow going to alter history, you are that goat. You are that important that you are going to alter history in some form or fashion. And so now people are really looking at your social media differently. They're really looking at your pictures differently because they're finding out all this new information. You guys are definitely seeing 1111 or 333 or 444. So all of these people are watching you from afar because this powerful someone you have influence over. 
And not only that, it's like God in the universe too. These people feel like you command the universe. They feel like you command God. They feel like you are the powerful Oz. And they're like, they must be doing spell work. They must be. Because they feel like you guys have a spell on everyone. They want to believe that it's your body. They want to believe that it's um, some type of sexual behavior. They want to believe that it's something inappropriate. And it's you guys being yourself, the ancient wisdom that you have, and the spark that you have in your life. People feel a soul connection to you. So people are really like, I don't even know what to do. They they feel like they should avoid you. They're definitely aggravated. They feel like they should avoid you, leave you on red, ignore you, do the minimum when it comes to talking to you. They feel like they don't have any tolerance left because they've tried everything to get you guys in trouble. They've tried everything to bring chaos into your life. So you guys are starting to realize like you're not just some regular schmegular star messenger or chosen or star seed or whatever you guys resonate with. It's been above you the whole time. So again, I told you guys if it was these people that have been gossiping about you, if they were the people that had all of the influence, they would be using it completely differently. They would be throwing it in everyone's face. The fact that you guys have been holding on to these gems, remember these glow in the dark crumbs? You guys have been holding on to all these nuggets of truth and you just put one down. You're like, mm, I'll just give them one. And they're like, oh my gosh, I'm over it. Like they couldn't even handle that one crumb of truth because it showed them how protected you are. I'm telling you guys, when you stood up for yourself this last time, it hit different. Okay, comment down below. When I stand up for myself, it hits different. These people the whole time have been trying to act like, oh, I'm not impressed by that. They're shook this time. They are shook at this time. They feel like people are just like really obsessed with you. You're always the main attraction. And you are showing them like that you're above their BS. You're like, bye, Felicia. Lesson learned. Goodbye. Next. You guys, you guys are definitely p dealing with people that have issues with substances, violence, but definitely like they're tweaking, irrational, senseless, intoxicated. They don't, they're constantly intoxicated. Some of these people that have been talking about you and they want everyone to disagree with you. They want everyone to have animosity towards you. But they are irrational and as they are intoxicated, they are mad that people are intoxicated, organically intoxicated by you. Comment down below. People are organically intoxicated by me. I have rare influence in this world. Okay? I have rare influence in this world. You guys are bringing, uh, what did I tell you guys? You are bringing new secret admirers, new powerful people, people that are interested. They're like, whoa, who's this person? Okay, because you guys are attracting a whole different situation of people. So comment down below, why am I so spicy? Why am I above it all? Why am I so divinely protected? And let your subconscious prove it to you. You're like, why am I so smoking hot? You guys are doing new rituals for protection. There's new things that you guys are doing to protect yourself. Because you are starting to see that you've been holding the wheel of fortune. You guys aren't dumbing yourself down anymore. Holy freaking crap, you guys. Oh my gosh, you know what that says down there? Addictive, the truth hurts. And that's a song. The truth hurts. They weren't ready for the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. These people that have been talking about you forever... 
forever these people have been talking about you. They were not ready for the truth. They wanted it to be like, no, they, they can't have influence over this person unless they're doing this, this, or that. Nope. Nope. They are so confused. They are a snake, a rat, a snitch. They're always trying to get you in trouble for things, and nothing has worked. Nothing has worked. They are so lost and confused, unfortunately. They are in the labyrinth of BS. They thought that they were going to get away being aggressive with you. And now you're going to see everyone singing a different tune. Okay, you guys are going to be singing everyone sing a different tune. So when you guys set up for yourself, if the last download was for you, then this download is for you. If you guys were standing up for yourself and you had to run into some of those people today, how did they act? This powerful person is protecting you and they had no idea or God intervened and they had no idea. It was like literally an act of God. These people are like, oh my gosh, I, I don't understand how they got this. I just don't understand. You're about to be rewarded for all of your hard work. We are, protect, we are protected children of God. Okay? Whatever your guys' beliefs are, we are protected children of the universe, the divine, the creator of God. Okay? I get my messages from God. So like for me, when people are messing with me, I'm like, I don't fear you. I can't. Sit down. Sit down. Take several seats. The Decepticon in the back that always wants to say something, I only fear God. That's it. Okay? That is it. Siren seduction. You guys are the siren. So it's like, no, I'm not putting a spell on anyone. I'm just the walking love spell. I just am that bitch. Okay. Comment down below. Why am I the siren? Why am I so seductive? If you guys feel that you are the wheel of fortune, say, I represent the wheel of fortune even on my worst day. If you guys feel like the siren right now that you are truly embodying that, comment down below. I am the siren I am smoking hot, no filter needed. Duh. 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 So they can be lost. They can be confused. Strength. They thought they could turn your strength upside down. They thought they could make your strength and your resilience do somersaults on what planet? You had to go through a lot to activate this strength and to hold on to it. So you guys are calling back your power. You guys are no longer empowering false prophets, the enemy, people that want to fear monger you or micromanage you. You guys are no longer empowering them. You are empowering yourself. The lion moves. Comment down below. The lion moves for no one. For no one. God wants you to do the things that make you happy and to stand up for yourself and to live your best life. The town. You guys are the talk of the town and people are starting to see how badass you really are. They could have thought like, oh, that's just Susie over there. They were mad because you get a lot of attention. And if you guys have seen the movie The Town, okay, it's about them robbing banks. People didn't realize, like, you got a past. You went to the school of hard knocks. You were on the F around, find out list. Okay, that's where you're putting people. F around and find out. They didn't think that you had done anything bad, that you had, like, a checkered past, anything of the sort. And they are starting to see, oh, my gosh, they are the, they're the lion. They've been through this, this, and that. That's why this powerful someone is, likes talking to you. Okay? Someone here could be learning more about numbers. I literally got learn about numbers. I keep getting things that they're higher tweaking. 
Okay, not that it's my business, but it's part of the reason why they're acting this way on 1000. You guys are dealing with some people that are on some type of methamphetamine or upper. They're like wound up. They're like turn up. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be. You guys know I used to um, be in my addiction. So they don't even have to be on an actual upper. It could be a downer that makes them up, 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 up. Okay. And we have the tower. Because like when I used to drink, I used to get wound up. They're on something that makes them high or like wound up. So it doesn't necessarily have to be you know, Adderall or, you know, whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. You guys are the tower. You guys sniffed out what people were plotting on you and you came through like a wrecking ball. Comment down below, why am I the whole enchilada? Why am I the walking love spell? Baby, I'm the tower too, okay? You are unforgettable unforgettable you guys are keeping it spicy these people thought like oh they already they they gave us all the information they had you weren't giving them anything you were giving them crumbs now they see that you've had all of these other things all of these other conversations okay you guys have been having all of these other conversations behind the scenes and they're like wait 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 they're like wait what you were un forgettable whether it's the enemy that's looking at you a decepticon that's looking at you or the people that adore you that are looking at you you are unforgettable comment down below why am i so unforgettable let your subconscious prove it to you because we are doing what the affirmation alteration our cheat code to fast track our cheat code to, le to less resistance is to ask our subconscious instead of stating to our subconscious because our subconscious is on an algorithm of having to prove the answer to us. So if we say, I am unforgettable, but we don't feel unforgettable, our subconscious is going to be like, eh, you're not that, you're not that. We can fast track it with least resistance by asking, why am I unforgettable? Oh, well, let me look in the database and see why is Brittany unforgettable. I love it, you guys. Um, so if you guys missed last reading, we were talking about the Parrot app. And the Parrot app is where we, um, as a collective, everyone on my channel, we're going to start putting our ask formations, our cheat codes on a loop. Because I want to raise consciousness for the collective. As I learn things, sometimes you guys are learning things or you just learned them before me or you've been knowing them. Whatever it is, I want us to do this together. You can get the Parrot app. It is free. And you can record your voice and you can listen to it on a like a small loop when you're in the theta stage or when you're just meditating or when you're just like cleaning the house or whatever. And you're trying to really reprogram. And it shifts you into a state of gratitude and least resistance. It is the cheat code to bringing in your heart's desire. Okay, so we're all going to start using that. And I'm so excited. I downloaded it yesterday, but I haven't been able to use it yet because I haven't had a day off yet. But I'm very, 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 very excited to use it. And if you guys have started using it, let me know in the comments. I know you got some of you guys are just as excited as me. So people are talking about you everywhere because many people are trying to understand this soul connection that you have to this very powerful person. They're trying to understand your luck and blessings. And so they want other people to weigh in. So like the group of people that normally talk about you, they're bringing in, bringing in others. So like, help me sort this out. Two plus two is eight. What does that mean? Like, they're like two plus two is four, but okay. So for some reason, no, numbers are really important to you guys, that your gifts are getting stronger. Comment down below. Why are my gifts and abilities getting stronger? Why are my gifts and abilities getting stronger? Because you guys are sniffing it out. You guys are feeling it out. You guys are walking away from it. You're standing up to it. You're protecting yourself and guarding yourself from certain things. His peep, oh my gosh, this bent. Like, look at this. Like, it bent. 
the backstabbers came out. They smile in your face the whole time. They want to take your place, the backstabbers. The next card that's coming out is Crazy by Gnarls Barkley. And I hope that you are having the time of your life. As I'm saying that, there's a motorcycle in the background, but you can't hear it because of the microphone. Um, and uh, motorcycles on this channel are confirmation for me. And I hope that you are having the time of your life. But think twice. That is my only advice. Now, come on. Who do you? Who do you? Who do you think you are? Ah, ha, ha. Bless your soul. Do you really think that you're in control? Well, I think you're crazy. This is what you're showing people by how you are maneuvering right now. Now, come on. Who do you who do you think you are? <laughs> Bless your soul. Do you really think you're in control? You guys have help coming. Comment down below. Help is on the way. Hard times are over. Hard times are over. They are over. Don't worry, help is coming. Like, ask yourself, why are you so blessed? And let your subconscious prove to you why life is good. You know the movie Goodfellas, where like everything's good. They're like, they got money and they're putting the tree up, but no one's gotten whacked yet. You guys are stepping into that season. You know when you're watching like a mob movie or a gangster movie and it's like the good time. Okay, I'm thinking about American Gangster, Blow, and Goodfellas specifically. Just think about like your favorite gangster movie where they're like, they're like blinded by the light. Everything's all good. And then it goes to shit. You're in the good stage. The spring, the summer. You're coming out of winter. Okay? You're coming out of winter. People are starting to see, oh, they've been a good guy the whole time. Keep doing what makes you happy. Period. Okay. I want to see if I get anything from the bottom of this deck. Anything else? People are looking at you like royalty because of the powerful influence that you have over people that are of authority, over people that are powerful. They are not acquainted with your spiritual rank. Comment down below. I am of high honor. Okay. I am the duchess. Okay. You are a cosmic duchess. You are a cosmic duke. I love that. I am a cosmic duchess. I am a cosmic duke. Okay. You guys have been feeling like you've been on an emotional roller coaster. You guys could be feeling really exhausted. And somehow you keep pushing through and you keep persevering even though people have really been trying to add some wrenches to what you got going on. And though this has been an emotional roller coaster for you, you are cleansing an old paradigm. You are cleansing an old paradigm. So put your subconscious on the hamster wheel of I got that ish. And make it prove it to you why you deserve this thing. Why you deserve these things. You deserve all of the love in the world. Comment down below, why do I deserve all of the love in the world? Why do I deserve all the love in the world? Fast track it. Let it prove it. We have the microphone. Your voice is meant to be amplified. Why do people listen when you speak? It's because of your authenticity. Because of your zest, your spark, your love for life. The beauty that you hold. Fortune favors the bold. Fortune favors the bold. Comment down below. Fortune favors the bold. I am the cosmic duchess. I am the cosmic duke. Yeah. From death comes rebirth. We have Kalima. From death comes rebirth. You've gone through a lot of pain and sadness. Some people are being plucked out of your life. They are being relocated. I've been getting that for like a month now. You guys have people in your life that they're not really a good fit for you. They're not the worst fit, but they're not a good fit. And because they're not really supposed to be all up in your timeline right now, because people are popping up like daisies from your past, they could be getting relocated. 
They're, they need to be on their divine path or their divine timeline. And then some of you guys are having to remove people that are really costing you opportunities or costing you things that make you feel safe or uh, make you feel financially okay or financially sound. I love that. So you guys are purging, releasing, resetting. Purging, releasing, resetting. You are detoxing um, over the next week things that you don't want in your life. You are really trying to like remove what doesn't belong. Um, you guys could be cleaning your house. You guys could be um, reorganizing things. I'm seeing that you guys are really getting things together because even though we are in these transits and we are in these retrogrades, this retrograde season especially, you guys are really making the most out of it. And I love that for you guys. You guys are really making the most out of this retrograde season. You're like, I'm not going to make let this retrograde tell me what I can and cannot do. I am not going to let this retrograde make me assume the position. No, 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 no. Okay, we have four, three, four, three, five. Four, three, five is your guys' angel number. If you guys want to comment it down below. I didn't even see these cards that fell out. But you guys are going to be getting recognition. So if you guys have a social media business or there's you've been hard at work, you guys are about to get a lot of recognition. So comment down below. Why am why do I represent the six of wands? Why do I re, why do I represent that? Why am I always going viral? What you guys stood up for shows people that you don't think about them at all. Okay, somebody needs to hear that. These people that have been speaking dirt on your name, some people are seeing that like you know that they've been speaking dirt and you still don't think about them at all. That irks them. Okay, that literally irks them. I literally got two butterflies. Okay. We have the Ten of Wands. See, these burdens, anything that feels like a burden to you right now, you're like, okay, I'm just going to use this retrograde, if I could talk, I'm just going to use this retrograde to shift. So getting two butterflies, you guys feel like you are like on double duty or like a secret agent or like you live a double life because you are very protective over your life. But I'm seeing that you guys have stability. You guys are here to stay. Okay, you guys represent the castle. You are here to stay. You guys represent ancient wisdom. And these burdens, it's like, it's almost like you just can't take any more burdens. You just can't take one more burden. So you are looking at everything. You're like, okay, I want to declutter this. I need to get rid of this person. I need to replace this person. I need to walk away from this. And you're doing you. People really want to pull you up out of your seat right now. Comment down below, better men have tried. Better men have tried. I feel like you guys are about to have a lot of touchdowns, a lot of good things happening and blooming for you. Dang. I love that. So you guys might be doing like a little victory dance. And you should. You guys should celebrate like your wins, big and small. Okay, 53, 53 on the clock when I said that. Okay, so 53, 53 is an angel number for you guys that you need to look up in regards to this reading. And 4, 3, 5. I love that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. And if you guys are looking for extra content, link is in the description box. Thank you guys for all of your love and support on all of my platforms. Thank you guys for your beautiful notes on Cash App. They do not go unnoticed. You guys are amazing. I feel incredibly, incredibly blessed. Okay, I hope you guys are enjoying the Ask Formations. And yeah, don't forget to smash the you know what, hit the bell, duh. You do not wanna miss out. <laughs> You guys know I be posting sporadically. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.